Now let's move on and talk about how we calculate cash flows from investing activities. To calculate cash flows from investing activities, all the changes in the non-current assets must be examined. So in general, an increase in a non-current asset suggests that there was a purchase and therefore we had a cash outflow. So a decrease would suggest that there was a sale and so we had a cash inflow. Cash flows from investing activities include cash inflows from the sale of property, plant, and equipment, the sale of security, so that would be stocks and bonds, of other companies, so not our own securities. That would fall in the financing category, and that's one that kind of trips people up every now and then. So the sale of securities, which would be stocks and bonds, of other companies that we're just holding, would show up in our investing section. And then also the receipt of loan payments. And then cash outflows would include the purchase of property, so kind of the reverse of the inflows. So the purchase of property, plant, and equipment, the purchase of security. So again, this isn't repurchasing our own securities. This is purchase of securities related to other companies. And then also making, in, making loans as investments. Loans directly related to the sale of products and services are probably going to be classified as operating activities. And then um, the interest on loans included as an investing activity are also going to be classified as cash flow from operating activities. So let's let, take a look at an example. Let's assume that the Hardin Supply Company discloses that it sold equipment with a cost of $10,000 and accumulated depreciation of $5,000 for $6,000. Okay, that's a little bit confusing. <laughs> so let me back up and explain what we're saying. They sold this piece of equipment that cost them $10,000 and it has accumulated depreciation. So on their books, they're showing that they've depreciated it by $5,000 and then the sale price was $6,000. So that means we sold a, a piece of equipment that had a book value of $5,000 and we sold it for $6,000. So that's where the $1,000 gain comes in. To us, it was only worth $5,000, but we were able to sell it for $6,000, which was a $1,000 difference, and so that's a gain to this company. So the, that $1,000 gain came from selling equipment, and um, that gain is accounted for in the operating activities. So that's exactly what we were just talking about on the last slide. So why don't we stop there and then we can come back and talk about cash flows from financing activities.